Back to East Texas now. Joined with us here via FaceTime is Christine Guevara. Now, Christine, you are reporting live from the scene of a, a flood. Is that correct? Yes, I'm here at Swan Baptist Church here in Tyler along 69. And I'm here with one of the church members here, Rotivia. And she also kind of works uh, here with the, the um, food bank, the little pantry that they have upstairs. But um, they experienced some flooding um, earlier this morning. So can you just kind of talk about how it all happened, what you guys saw? Yes, ma'am. So this morning, um, I came down to help the kids fix their lunch during the, um, you know, in between time of prepping for the food for pantry. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we look over in the basement area, which is our fellowship hall and our co-op area. It's just underwater. Carpets flooded and supply rooms got flooded, flooded one of our classrooms did. Mm -hmm. And it happens every time it rains heavy. And so, yes, we kind of wanted to show y'all what it looks like. It was worse earlier this morning, but um, it kind of improved now. It's right here. I don't know if you can see the difference. Yeah, you can see the, the difference in the darkness of it that you can see uh, that's still wet right there. Right. And I was talking to one of the church members, too. His name is Caleb. He said that the source could possibly be from the sump pump that's outside he's there right now he's on the other side of the door but um the sump pump he said is is the uh, drainage yes, it system helps drain the water out drain the water out um and it wasn't i guess draining properly um and so that's kind of how this side of the wall which is where the sump pump is located on the other side caused that that flooding um and also due to possibly the heavy rain they're not so sure right now because the plumbers are actually here right now to look at the problem and then I guess diagnose it. Um, but we can kind of walk a little bit over here at where the flooding kind of spread. Let's see. Hey guys. So here on the floor, you can see some wet spots. Um, also over here in the kitchen area where they're walking. Oh, that water. Uh, yeah, you can definitely, I mean, you can even hear when uh, shoes are yeah. walking through it, it, the splash right. of it all. So this is their uh, fellowship area, um, their basement, kind of. Um, and so this is kind of where the flooding actually occurred. There was some water over here. And I'll walk you over here to this spot. And this is the storage um, unit, storage area. This is where it's really bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can absolutely, you can see the shine on it. Um, so it really so, affected the entire bottom floor. Exactly, yes. And so what they need now, what, what do you guys need help from the um, community? Volunteers, if you want to come and just help try to get everything cleaned up. Fans, towels, uh, if, you have, if anyone has uh, shock bags, just any way that you can help, we're, mm -hmm. we're very open to it. Because today on Tuesdays is their food pantry day. Yes. So how has that kind of affected you guys right now with the flooding and what's happening upstairs? Because that's where it is. Yes. So right now, because all the volunteers and the uh, people who work um, are upstairs preparing with the food pantry and packing boxes, we kind of have to change our process. Normally, we let people pick what they want from there, you know, from our supply. Yes. But today, we just have to just kind of prepack everything. And we didn't want to have to pull volunteers to come downstairs to try to clean up and whatnot. Or, mm -hmm. you know, it, it kind of put just a little dent, but we, we we're still going strong. Right. And it's going to be raining until Thursday. So do you guys have a, a game plan moving forward? Um, well, like we said earlier, the plumbers are here right now. We're hoping there can be a fix or some type of um, solution mm -hmm. because we do have our homeschool co-op that meets on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if the basement is flooded, mm -hmm. where are the kids going to go? Where are they going to learn, you know, and be comfortable and have their space, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, we're just really hoping for a solution. A quick win. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Christine, thanks for calling in and uh, bringing, you know, the, the issue to the forefront of our minds there. We look forward to hopefully some, some good news from that plumber. And Christine, where can we hear a little bit more on this uh, later on?
Um, not so sure just yet. Uh, <laughs> but um, I, actually, I don't want to assume anything. So I, I don't know yet. <laughs> we will be able to get a um, later on uh, today or later on this evening. We'll be able to uh, get you an update on uh, exactly where you can go to help or to uh, sign up to uh, to be a volunteer. Again, Christine, thank you so much for calling yeah. in and uh, giving us the sights and the sounds of what's going on in uh, that church flooding. Of course. Thank you so much, Devin. Absolutely.